A language is called regular language if a DFA recognizes it. Basically, the set of languages recognized by all the DFAs that are out there is the set of regular languages. Let's see if this language L of a machine M is a regular language. This machine accepts the empty string or the strings that end in zero. Turns out we can construct a DFA that can recognize this language. Clearly, it accepts the empty string or the strings that end in zero. The language L is a regular language. Whenever we define a class of languages like this, we can check if uh, the class of languages are closed under several operators like complement, union, and intersection. Let's say regular languages are closed under complement. It means if L is a regular language, then L complement will also be a regular language. Similarly, if the class of regular languages is closed under union and complement, then that would be true. If L1 and L2 are in regular languages, then L1 union L2 as well as L1 intersection L2 will also be in regular languages. In this and the next lecture, we'll be proving regular languages are closed under complement, union and intersection, but are there more? Concatenation, star operator, reversal, uh, and many, many more. We shall look into them as we go further in the course. First, let's talk about complement. Okay, so we're gonna try to check if regular languages are closed under complement. I have a statement here, I haven't proved it yet, but we're just gonna use an example DFA and try to check if it is true for that example. The language recognized by this DFA is the set of all of the strings that have at least one A followed by at least one B. And there are the examples for the strings accepted by this DFA. Now, if we follow uh, the statement that I have up there, the complement of this language L bar contains the empty string, strings in which some Bs precede some As, and strings that contain only As or only Bs. Our new DFA M bar should accept exactly those strings which M rejects, which are basically the strings in sigma star minus L. So the phi tuple description of M bar is Q, sigma, delta, Q naught, everything is the same as M, except for the final accepting states, which is Q minus F. If we use this example, uh, the set Q minus F would contain Q naught, Q1, and Q3. So let's draw the DFA for this phi tuple, and we would end up with this where Q0, Q1, and Q3 are marked as accept states and Q2 will not be an accept state. Uh, this new DFA fits the description of the language uh, L complement, right? So it's accepting all the strings that are part of the language L complement. Let's get more formal with this and upgrade the statement as a theorem. Given a machine description M and M bar, we'd like to prove that language of M bar is equal to sigma star minus language of M. You can note that the transition function delta for both M and M bar are the same. So we can also prove that delta star would be the same for M and M bar. Okay, and also note that both of them have the same initial state Q naught. Let W be the string from sigma star, then W would be in the language of M bar if and only if the delta star starting at Q naught given the word W belongs to Q minus F. Well, that is directly from the definition given from M bar. 
This would be true if and only if delta star of q0, w does not belong to f. You can rewrite it uh, as this way uh, with a not operator and the contents in the parenthesis imply the word w belongs to the language of m. The negative operator outside implies that w would belong to sigma star minus l of m. Okay, so uh, w can't be in l of m, so it will be in sigma star minus l of m. What we did here is to prove the theorem just by sticking to the definitions. Okay, I'll finish the discussion about the complement of regular languages by talking about De Morgan's law. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this. Uh, let's see this in action for regular languages. Here is a regular language L for the machine M, where W is the empty string epsilon or ends in a zero. Okay, so this DFA clearly accepts uh, the language given right there. Following the theorem, I'll get the complement of that language by changing the final states to Q minus F. Okay, so what's left here is Q1, so I'll make that as the accepting state and remove the accepting state status for Q0. Clearly, this DFA accepts the language. Uh, following the De Morgan's law, it is not the empty string epsilon and it does not end with a zero. All right, regular languages are closed under complement.